Hi, this is Rick and thanks for joining. This is the 14th Word 2007 tutorial. Uh, what I'm going to show you today is how to do a mail merge between Word and Excel. So what I've done here is I've created just a real basic letter, like a form letter you can send out to your customers. A date on it, a dear, you know, with a blank there, you know, thanks for being a good customer since, you know, since a specific date and offer them a discount or whatever it is or send them a holiday letter. Uh, anyways, um, in order to do that, um, what I've done is I've created a, a small customer list here. You'll notice I've got a header row, first name, last name, address, and so forth. And then um, I've got all customers listed here with their address and you know how long they've been a customer, things like that. So with that said, I'm going to go back to my Word document and I am going to um, do a mail merge. And so what you do is you go over to the mailings tab and then you go into start mail merge you'll notice there's you can do these manually or you can go by the and go by the uh, merge wizard which is very easy so I'm going to do the step-by-step -step mail merge wizard and then you'll notice you get lots of options over here letters email and so forth um, I'm going to go ahead and do the letter since this is what we're doing start the document and I'm going to identify the document as the current document which we're working in and you could certainly start from a template or start from the, uh, uh, another document and then I'm gonna go ahead and say select recipients and I can import them from Outlook or type a list or um, in this case I'm gonna use that existing list that I created in Excel I'm gonna click browse and then what I do is I go to um, uh, where I put the spreadsheet and I saved it in this folder here and it's called merge spreadsheet so I highlight it and click OK and then you'll notice I get sheet 1, sheet 2, and sheet 3 and if I go here there's sheet 2, sheet 3 uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave it on sheet 1 which is the default um, worksheet so I'm going to say sheet 1 say OK and then it'll bring up a list of my customers so if I just want to pick certain customers, I can uncheck certain customers. So in this case, I'm going to uncheck David here. I'm going to uncheck him, and I'm going to say OK. And you can also do different options here, sort, filter, and things like that, find duplicates. So I'm going to say OK. Then I'm going to go in, and I'm going to say write my letter. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put in the spots where I need to insert that data. So let's start off with um, the name. So dear, you know, what name do we want to do it? So I'm going to go up here to the write and insert field. Let me make that bigger for one second here. And now you'll see over here you see a field, insert merge field. So, and if you click that you see all the options from the table from the spreadsheet. So I'm going to make that small again so you can so you can see it. I'm going to go back to mailings and I'm going to go over here in this section and say insert merge field and we want to say dear first name. Okay, It's real important that you have a space there. Right? If you don't want a space leave it, leave it out but it wouldn't make any sense without a space. And then I go over here, I go to my first line, we wanted to thank you for being such a good customer since and I hit Hit, put my um, cursor there, click the mouse, and then I want to insert a merge field of customer initial date. Okay, so now you see what that did. Now it's going to insert the date from the spreadsheet. Now I want to go up here and I want to put their name and address up here. So what I want to do here is I want to say insert first name, space bar, insert last name, and then I want to hit return you notice by the way what happened here is when I hit return by default it will um, go down to make a, an extra large space here because when I hit return it thinks that's a paragraph return rather than just a line return so I'm gonna go ahead and hit the back arrow and go back there and now I'm gonna hold down the shift key and hit enter and now you notice it's much better um, as far as formatting goes it's a line return there instead of a paragraph return when you do shift and enter together so the next thing I want to do is do um, insert, let's get, put their address in and click insert and I'm going to go ahead and close and then I'm going to do again shift, shift enter 
and I'm going to insert and I'm going to do city and let me do city state and zip okay we're not going to put their phone number on the form and I'm going to say close now you notice what happened is they put them in without spaces so I'm going to go ahead and click there and hit space click there and hit space and now I've got spaces in there so now what I can do is I can click here and do preview your letters and then you'll notice what happened here is I've got my letter got my date name and address dear first name and we want to thank you for being such a good customer since and we've got the date there all right and now we've got a um, letter and you can go you know for all of our customers you can go through the list here and look at them like this and then you can just say complete the merge and then you can print them like that or you can go and edit the individual letters all right so if you go to print um, <clears throat> you, you can do this either way and at that point you're done so I hope this helps and appreciate you listening and thanks for subscribing. Take care. Bye.